Fortnite. This used to be a game that I'd come home and play from 4 to 12 every night. A game that stopped me from revising for my exams because I was so addicted. A game that I had a big passion for and enjoyed again. I hadn't enjoyed a game this much since MWR before my stats were reset. But this was a different kind of enjoyment. This was an enjoyment that I'd never had before. I never played a battle royale game before and this was honestly amazing. I last played Fortnite two hours ago for the first time in about two months where I shot some five year old with a gun he then went on to build the fucking empire state building within two seconds I sat there in shock kids that can't read or write but could be a professional gaming team it is impressive to be fair I then played a few more games just to get like a, a feel for the game but it just became frustrating like what changed what made me go from loving this game to despising it what made me go from coming home and literally playing with the boys every single night to now coming home and just watching rick and morty rick and morty now i don't know how long you've been playing the game before but like i said i've been playing the game since it actually came out and i'd go through stages with the game where like for example i'd go from playing non-stop and then having a small break for a few days and then coming back but i always found myself returning like to, to play more the last time that was like a proper sweat on the game was probably july 2018 now ever since then i've probably played for like two hours a month and that is literally just for me and my friends are like like completely burnt out of whatever game we're playing or we're just frustrated we'll literally just go on to that and i can genuinely tell you how it ends every single time someone in the party will go who wants to go on fortnite i'll agree and this is what happens everyone starts telling michael that he stinks of shit i usually just scream down the mic like an idiot and chuck my controller on my headset nick says fuck this i'm coming off to watch sons of anarchy josh starts telling us some stories about how he's the ceo of google or something like that and then Jaden will usually say guys why don't we all just calm down? And everyone replies, shut the fuck up, Jaden. The game has become this embarrassment almost to play. It's like I'm humiliated because whether or not some little five-year-old has just shot me in the face. When I play this game, I feel like I'm 16 going to a five-year-old's birthday party. Now, I do like the fact that Epic try and like, change the game as much as possible. Like, th That's pretty sick. I, I think it's neat. They're always trying to keep the game fresh. But like now, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> like Seriously, planes, ATKs, and what else is there? Quad bikes. Really? It's like GTA. In a game like PUBG it works and it also serves purpose. For example, when you have to get to zone, you need a car to get there. If you run, you're going to die. Like, it really does serve purpose in this game. But why this map so small? It's just stupid. Like, when, let's say, ATKs came out or whatever, it was fun for, like, the first hour. It was like, sick, oh, ah, they've added this. But this, this is like, good. only Fortnite so much going in the right direction. Just Played it and trying it's just to like... outbuild these little two-year-olds and they shoot me down in a plane. It's like, <laughs> brilliant. It's a slog to play. Like, every single fight I get into... There's someone doing these, what What are they doing, these editing battles? <laughs> I feel like I'm like 50 years old. I just can't be asked for it. I know you can be like, oh, well, you should get better at the game or whatever. You can't just hop and on I this do game get like that, once the game has changed from like the casual game that it once was. Because the game have revolved so much around building now. If you take one week off, all the other people that are playing every day in that week are now a faster builder than what you was. So when you come on that next week, you have to like be able to build faster. And I know you might think that's weird, but if you think about it, at the start of the game, yeah, let's say like, like the first month, what were people building? Little one by ones at the end game, and that was that. Let's say the second month. People were doing maybe, I don't know, like a ramp rush, okay? And that's all that we could do. If you look from the very start of the game, if you look at gameplay of it and go to now, the building gets faster, okay? Oh, well, obviously, I know people are going to get better at the game. But if you look every month, it's just getting that bit fucking faster. So if you have a break from this game, you, you cannot be as good as you was that week before. You have to relearn this game again. To be good at this game, you literally cannot take breaks. Like, if you take a month off of this game, yeah, if you, let's say you're getting a bit sick of it, take a month off of this game, and, and you'll see what I mean. Another thing is, I think it just also got a bit repetitive for me. Like, no matter how good something is, it will always become boring and repetitive at some point. I do understand that. But when a game comes from something as good as it was back in Season 2 to what it is now, it's just disappointing. I felt like every time I was starting to get good at the game again, they would change something or remove a weapon. So, like, I had to now find a new alternative to what I was running. Or a new way to play the game, like when they got rid of that... Tommy gun and they got rid of that first SMG and then they got rid of double pumps and it was just like oh my god like it just got a bit boring for me like now when I'm playing the game <laughs> when I'm dropping from the battle bus sometimes I'll literally just close the app like when I have in these last few months I've just closed the app because I just can't be asked I genuinely cannot be asked to play a whole game of it anymore and if I win now it's like oh wow <laughs> another win 
I really could not care. There's no excitement in winning anymore. When I used to win a game on there, it was so sick. The feeling was so sick. And now it is literally, oh, well, I won another game. I think that's the reason why I really like PUBG is because the thrills that you get at the end of the game. Like, I don't know if you've ever played PUBG before and you're in that, that final 10. You, you will start having, I can promise you, you will start having an adrenaline rush. Or like, like maybe like the first, like couple times more than ever but still even now i've put like what like 60 hours into pubg on ps4 and i still get nervous every game that i finish the thrills have gone for the game and the incentive has gone from the game and i do think a lot of people are feeling the same like obviously on twitch it's fallen behind a lot and if you look when someone like ninja streams now they don't get half the amount of people that they used to when they were streaming i was reading an article the other day and it was going over how ninja has lost 90 percent of his twitch subscribers in 10 months 90 percent now is it because ninja got boring or everyone just got a bit sick of the game and yeah, once again, t fuse overtaking him, so you can be like, oh, well, you know, Ninja did just get boring, no one really likes him anymore. But t fuse isn't getting in the numbers that Ninja was 10 months ago in March. Like, another example of this would be, like, in, like, I think, like, January from, like, last year. So, like, 2018 January, I would watch TSM Myth every single day. His videos, his streams, everything. And then I just stopped. And if you look online now, there's so many videos about, oh, Myth is dying. It was nothing to do with the fact that Myth got boring. It was the fact that I was just sick of Fortnite. And I didn't find it interesting to watch anymore. And Myth and Ninja blew up on Fortnite because of how good they were and how fast they was at building. But now everyone is this guy that can build Rome in a fucking day. They just don't stand out anymore. If you would ask me how to improve Fortnite, I would say this. Make a new game mode called, I don't know, let's just call it Old School, okay? And in this game mode, I think get rid of all the vehicles. I would even say get rid of all the rifts. All, all, all the new shit. Personally, I'd like the season one map, but, you know, it's, I'm not really too bothered about the map. And then make this a feature. Make it a second between each piece of material that you place. So if I place a staircase, I'll have to wait one second before I have to place a wall. The reason why I want this is because I think the end games were so much better. Like when everyone would have these little one by ones on the mountains and it would be a game of chicken of like whoever poked first. Like I remember you'd have like two guys sniping and then the other two would be like going around on the base just like making it bigger and adding traps and making escape routes. And then one of the guys sniping would go down so you would have to like go revive him but then another team is pushing you. So you're all shouting at each other down the mics making your little escape plans. But you have to all decide fast because you've only got five seconds before the team pushing you is going to gun you. And it was just so much fun. Now don't get me wrong like <laughs> I'm, no, I'm no game dev or anything like that. And my idea is it's probably really shit to be fair. But that is something I'll just want to see. And the reason why I said it's a game mode is because you know. It, like, a lot of people probably still do like Fortnite how it is now. But I think that would be really good. Like Imagine like seeing like the season 1 map and how things were then. I just think that would be excellent. Now I'm really interested. So tell me what you guys think of Fortnite now. And if you still play it or what. And if you don't play it then what do you play as like an alternative to Fortnite. And finally when do you guys think that Fortnite was at its prime. When it was the most fun. But yeah anyways guys thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in one of my future videos. And uh, yeah goodbye.